Hi guys, so in this video we're going to look into automatic unwrapping, which I mentioned in lessons. Um, so this is a type of mapping I don't recommend really, so you'll have a look here and you'll see my UVs are fairly neat and tidy. Um, so I can kind of work out what's going on, I can see what each of these parts are. Now you'll notice this automatic button up here as well, and we'll be able to see the difference that this does. So automatic unwrapping is the computer trying to work out how to unwrap your mesh. This might work okay for simple models and sometimes it can form a good starting point, so you can maybe use an automatic unwrap and then you can maybe move and sew things together. Um, but for more complex meshes, it's not very good. So if I click this automatic button here, you'll notice straight away it's wasted a fair bit of space over here creating these things. So it's kind of what it's doing is it's mapping from these six planes uh, and we can have a little look at the options here. So if we hold shift and we right click that, uh, shift and left click, sorry, so shift and left click that, um, we can change the number of planes. So you can see it's got six planes it's currently shooting from. We are aiming for less distortion. So sometimes you'll get distortion on your meshes, particularly if you've got spherical or more organic looking elements. Um, where some of these squares won't be quite perfectly square, and that's okay. Um, or we can optimize for fewer pieces, so there would be fewer pieces in my UV map over here. Okay, um, the rest of everything is fairly standard, um, so I'm going to leave that there for now. We can then still manipulate these and work with these, so I could try my layout tool now and see if I get a better... Okay, so I'm getting a slightly better unwrap there now. So my model's fairly simple. So automatic unwrap hasn't done too bad of a job. I can, if I have a look at, where's my, there we go. So if I just turn this off and just have a look at where the seams are. So you can see this piece here, it's got seams everywhere. So I may want to choose to go into this part. So if we go here, we have a look at this mesh here. We may choose to grab the edges so grab this edge and grab this edge. So you can see they're all on multiple different pi um, parts there. And I could sew those together. So hit hit sew. Okay. So we could or we could try stitch together. Let's try just sew for now. Um, and then if I grab that UV shell, so it's gone a bit messy. So remember, after we do everything, we should always unfold. So let's just have a look where my unfold's gone. There it is. So then if I hit unfold there, so I perhaps maybe I've stitched a bit too much. I didn't realize that I had that there, but that's that's working fine. I can check that now. My um, my UVs are fairly, fairly consistent across the whole thing. So now I could maybe choose this part here. I could maybe stitch this bit on. So this is connected to this part at the bottom. So I could maybe first grab this edge and cut that. And then I could select this edge and move and sew, stitch together. So I've stitched that across here. I've used stitch together is going to automatically move it, and it means that you don't necessarily need to unfold it. Again, I would always just run a quick unfold because it's going to going to change somewhat, even if that's fairly minor. Okay, um, so that's automatic unwrapping there. It's fairly simple. It works okay for simple models, but again, it's working out for you. So I would always recommend going in and cutting parts off and stitching them together using the stitch parts over here. So you've got your cut parts and then your stitch parts over here. I would always use those to stitch them up and tidy it up and always double check with that checkerboard just to make sure everything's working fine. And then of course, we'll need to run a final layout where it's gonna put everything in there. And then this would be good for, this would be good for painting next time. Okay, thank you very much guys.